layout has changed. Yeah. Okay, Club or Revan are one and two. Uh, and 4P is uh, zero. Oh, crap. Uh, no, I said zero. Zero is player one. Okay, okay, okay. I, yeah, yeah, I got it. Thank you, thank you. Names are um, Yeah, but uh, so I, I'm just trying to figure out which one's Ghost Pika. Ooh, I thought that was going to be a down air, but... Oh, no, down air on his own teammate on Clubba. Clubba almost able to recover, but not quite. Revan with a little bit of an error there. Or maybe Clubba. They, they ran into each other. Okay, so we talked before about how uh, Clubba really seemed to be the difference in this Revan Clubba team. So uh, we'll see. Ooh, nice finish there from Stranded. Stranded is... Ghost. Clubber no, Revan. Stranded is Marvel. Clubber Revan has done really well. Uh, I just... I, what, they're, on, they're on five stocks. They're on five stocks. These people, they just don't. <laughs> uh, yeah, it should be four stock. Um, singles is five stock, but doubles is four stock here, so... Uh, Bill didn't read the rules. And everyone is striking. Um, ooh, great F tilt there from Stranded. My goodness. Uh, that's it for Clubba. Revan hanging on to his stock, but uh, they're already at a disadvantage here, so it'll be tough. Stranded still has four. Wow. Zero just repeatedly back airing, putting a wall out for Revan. Uh, dang. This is looking rough for Team Clubba Revan. Revan Dubba? Revan Dubba? I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> um, team Haircut. Looking real solid. Uh still has his first stock. My goodness. Uh, they, they've gotten two on zero, but... Oh. <laughs> nice up tilt from uh, Revan there. Ooh. And that should clean that stock out on Revan. Well, maybe finally, not. Finally, Stranded loses the light. Finally. He's right. For a while. But they also get Revan's at the same time, so this is pretty dire straits. And that will not be it for Clubba. Clubba able to hang on. Ooh, a little nice passing. passing. Yes. Nice passing. Oh. oh, yeah, too high, but. Yeah. Uh, that would have been awesome. If he was, so he's on the ledge, he had to drop off the ledge. 85%? At zero like a second ago. He had to drop off the ledge. He had to drop off the ledge. But if he was, uh, if he was on the ground, he could have jumped and double jumped, and then probably hit the back guard. Yeah, but uh, great passes anyway. Did you seal that stock off, and then Revan gets a grab on his teammate? So, uh, ooh, yep. This is rough for Revan. Uh, stranded, able to take that stock. So, club uh, doing well on his own, but oh no. Oh. <laughs> Not able to reach again. Uh, they're looking for it, though. Stranded is so fast and so well right now. Yeah, he, uh, like, not he's just killing at, it. Like, you're looking at a stock and you're like, well, of course he's, there. he's got a lot of stocks. Just because you have a lot of stocks doesn't mean you're, you're, you're actually doing well. You could be oh, just zero was playing too conservative much. and your teammates the reason. The reason no, no, he's playing stocks. well. He's, like, actually, like, blowing it up in the neutral game. Where? He's comboing. He's very quick. He's heads up. He's on everybody at all times. He's covering all the stage at once. Whereas in winners, uh, we saw their success, I think, a little more from zero, uh, where Stranded was losing a lot of stocks. I don't know if Stranded's picking up a little bit more yeah, now, Stranded's but... Playing, Stranded's playing lights out right now. Mistake, Except for mistake, that. Mistake, mistake there, right? <laughs> you know? At that point, when you do yeah, have that yeah. strong of a lead, you're looking to just throw, Trade. throw in an aggressive kill confirm. Then, um, then Pikachu just does not have a dare turn. that can just kill, but... Uh, yeah, and air anything. Yeah. Works like you're out not for at that point. You're not waiting to try to win the neutral game. You have such a strong lead. You can force it to eventually win. Um, yeah, that's and get, where and get it done quicker. That's where like uh, Kirby's really nice, or anyone with a n strong down air is really nice in those situations because you can just say like, look, I'm gonna trade and just down air here yeah. and who cares if call you suicide it, kill? Call it a day. Yeah, you can do that in singles too, but it's always a, like a little more risky. You got less less stocks, to, fewer stocks to work with, um, but. Because and, and even so, even in the, in the event that um, that you miss, let's say he went for the and misses and dies, right? Your teammate will cover the other option that 
you didn't cover. So right. on Ooh. singles, you don't have that. Because if you miss, you you basically die. Your the opponent lives, and then you reset your shit. Kevin started off getting comboed out of his throw. <laughs> So that's, oh, this is tough for Revan. So where we're seeing a lot of success in this match so far for a blue team is really taking advantage of the advantages that Pikachu has on Kirby in one-on-one -on -one combat. Um, and and 2v1. Uh, he's getting pushed around as a puffball a lot. Yeah, that's why one reason I don't think Kirby's that good at doubles, and I think... Uh you know, Double Pika destroys Pika Kirby. And e e yeah, it's tough. It's tough for Kirby in this because uh, unless Kirby can stay on the fringes and is able to be helpful but not in the fray, uh, he's, he's got a problem because if he's, if he's anywhere in the middle of the fray, his combo weight is just easy money for, for Kirby or for Pikachu's to continue to combo Kirby. Like here, this is a problem. Yeah. Uh, see, I don't like the down air. It was, it was stale. I, I, you used it. I'm not sure that's what he wanted. They got to do, it. Yeah. They got it. You have to up tilt back here. But uh, the down air, um, with it being stale, you're not going to get as much damage from the knockback. What would have been better is a, a fast fall uh, back here. I think he went for it. I think he was going for that, and he got the down air out because he was fast falling. Now, yeah. I always like people always say like, oh, why did he do that? Right? It's like half the time it's not that they wanted to do that. It's just what ended up happening because of an input error. So uh, I think the down air was an input error. Um, I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt that he didn't want the fastball back here. But that's kind of to show you, like, even these most technical players uh, still don't execute everything perfectly because it's a very challenging thing to do. If you ever see an up smash when you wanted to see an up air, or vice versa, probably wanted the other one and missed the input. Same with uh, up tilt like, sometimes. But. Sometimes, sometimes like, so I'll like play Yoshi and I'll be on a platform and I'll just do a grab, right? And like, no one's there. And it's like, why would you ever want to grab? It's like, I, it's like, dude, I was, I was hitting grab. R. Like, <laughs> Yeah. I was trying to do like a, like a plat drop, you know, plat drop aerial and, um, you know, mistimed it or you try to do a shield jump and sometimes Sorry. you like, you, you up smash cancel or something. Uh, the jump squats are not all the same. Revan and a tough spot. So Revan, I, I, I'm, not, I'm not sure, I, I'm not sure if it's Zero and Stranded dictating so well against Revan that he's not being useful, or if Revan is is just not able to, to get in the play as much as maybe Clubba wants, and that's the issue. Uh, basically, I'm, I'm trying to decide whether it's the uh, crazy amount of pressure that Team Haircut is putting on Revan that's making it so challenging, or if uh, Revan's doing something, he needs to be doing something better to, to improve their chances. Um, but I think that's for sure the difference maker. His stocks have just disappeared. Ooh. Weird grab, but it works. Still a very clear lead. Yeah, that, that should be it for Clubba. Oh, and, you know, ooh, I but, like what Zero did, and Zero could have gotten back. I'm pretty sure he could have gotten back. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but he, like, just put so much pressure. I don't know why he would hit him there. He only did a he only did a single zap, so he definitely. Yeah, I think. Oh, I mean, so it's it's hard because you're so low, even the double zap is still hard. Yeah. And there um, But I love what Zero did there. He just put so much pressure on that Pika. He just kept hitting him and hitting him, stopping every attempt, going all the way down. He was even willing to go to the grave with them. And when you can do that to get a two on one, because you have an extra stock to work with, that's what you got to do. Malachi, with the coaching. <laughs> um, this is also team earbuds. They're they're all about it. Zero's looking. At it. He's not. But he was. Pretty sure he is. Well, uh, Mr. Sir is uh, another player that's in top eight. He's also in D1. We've said everyone in top eight's D1. Mr. Sir won his placement pool by beating CTG to get D1. Apologies if we occasionally talk to someone off stream. We we unfortunately don't have what, what I like to call a, a, a god mic for, for Dark Horse running the stream. So um, um, the only player that's technically not in D1 is Stranded. We would have been a D1 player. Yes, Mr. Sir is in it as well. But we've got, you know, basically all the D1 players, not all the D1 players made top eight, but all the top eight doubles players were also D1 players. So we didn't right. see any D2 players get top eight. Okay, so we're going to have to see a change from, from Club or Revan, a change in their play. Revan's got to either, uh, oh, no, that's Whoa, not the change that he wanted. What is with um, that's, not, that's not good. I think what he wanted was uh, runoff, return to stage back air, yeah. and just fast fell. 
Well, sometimes you say you're the fastball to drop down quickly because you want to get your double jump to be the apex of your double jump to be coming over to the le to the ledge. If you slow fall, you don't do it quick enough. You, it, it takes forever for you to get to a position right. to right. get the, the back here at the level you want it right. at. So if you fast fall and do that, um, you have to jump right away, and sometimes you you you're such a you're such a quick, oh, the double quick reaction the, that okay. you end up missing the back here. That is what they needed. They still don't have the lead, but they needed that double down air. I was about to say like. This matchup, this team comp matchup is in particular really tough if you're playing without a lead as the current team. So, oh no, Revan has no jumps. Kirby, yeah, they're able to get a lot that. of characters I think get better recovery in uh, doubles because usually oh, your oh, teammate yeah. can clear the ledge, they can open it up back for you, so it's a safe recovery option. I think Kirby's one of the characters that actually gets a worse recovery in doubles. Uh, in singles, Kirby can have some mix-ups. Kirby can take their time. They can make you commit, you can commit to well, the, the other thing usually is, before the they have to commit is, to the recovery. If you take time on your recovery, uh, it, it takes you out of the play. If it takes you a long time to recover, you're not in the game for that much longer. That, that, that is true. Kirby's advantage is that like back air and air are really good for helping your teammate recover, because it's really good for pressuring characters who are on the ledge. Yeah. yeah. But certainly as a re as the recovering character, Kirby is problems. But um. That's why like having Kir Kirby not be in trouble is is the way to win as this team. And yeah. right now, Revan's been in I trouble. I somewhat agree, but I think, the, I think the bigger thing is um. Kirby, Kirby with, with stalling, you have to commit to an edge guard before they have to commit to the recovery. Uh, uh -huh. So, like, Kirby can use the jumps to force in, like, a yeah, forward yeah. smash or a forward tilt or a one off, move out of the way, avoid the hit, and then come back up with their nair, with their back air, with their forward air. In doubles, you just cover both. Two I players mean. can commit to both options, yeah. like, both options at once. So, Kirby has no way to get through. And then at that point, you just, like, up B and you're, like, this. Yeah, like, yeah, so yeah. one commits to one thing, forcing the Kirby to react and put somewhere else, because they, they have to either avoid that hit, and then the other other one just covers the next hit. I mean, Kirby's recovery is not top tier. I think it's mid tier anyway. It's, yeah, it's not Luigi, but <laughs> nothing. Like I actually, I, I mean, I actually think so, Luigi has a better recovery straight up than Kirby does. I, I, oh, I agree. So I'm not. I think Luigi is. This is one of those times where I think you're only half trolling, and yeah. there's a lot of truth. So uh, to I, I, that played I played straight into Luigi Pico money match. Uh, he won game three versus my Luigi as Pico. And um, in the first game that I won, he uh, he was literally like, "How the heck do I edge guard this character? It's impossible." Because uh, you know, Luigi gives us so many <laughs> options. Options with up B. It's super good. Uh, Team Red has a chance to actually win. Oh, no. uh, they still have a chance, but it's a little bit a lot. To oh, that's it. That is a 3-0 for Team Earbuds, Stranded Team played. Haircut, Team Hat, Team. Trying to play well. Trying to play well. All set, but they.